The topic of our lecture is Dominant American Cultural Patterns Readings. The learning objectives are the first one, to define cultural patterns, the second one, summarize beliefs, values, norms, and social practices that are stable over time and that lead to roughly similar behaviors across similar situations. And the third one is to discuss dimensions of culture as it is recognizable point of comparison used to explain how different cultures prefer to approach and solve a universal problem. The outline of our lecture is the following. Mm, the first question is uh, components of cultural patterns, the second beliefs, the third one values, and the, the fourth one is norms. Cultural patterns are shared beliefs, values, norms, and social practices that are stable over time and that lead to roughly similar behaviors across similar situations. The terms of the lecture theme are the following change, life, positive, self-sufficiency, communication, information, language, progress, and so on. There are four components of cultural patterns. The first one is belief. A belief is an idea that people assume to be true about the world. The second one is values. Values involve what a culture regards as good or bad, right or wrong, fair or unfair, just or unjust, beautiful or ugly, clean or dirty, valuable or worthless, appropriate or inappropriate, and kind or cruel. Norms are the socially shared expectations of appropriate behaviors. Social practices are the predictable behavior patterns that members of a culture typically follow. Cultural patterns contain five major elements address the manner in which a culture orients itself to activities, social relations, the self, the world, and the passage of time. The first element is activity orientation, which defines how the people of a culture view human actions and the expression of self through activities. The second one is the social relations, which orientation describes how the people in a culture organize themselves and relate to one another. Norms are the socially shared expectations of appropriate behaviors. Self-orientation describes how people's identities are formed, whether their culture views the self as changeable, what motivates individual actions, and the kinds of people who are valued and respected. A world orientation, cultural patterns also tell people how to locate themselves in relation to the spiritual world, nature, and other living things. The final aspect of cultural patterns concerns how people conceptualize time. The most important thing that Americans is probably their devotion to individualism. They have been trained since very early in their lives to consider themselves as separate individuals who are responsible for their own situations. They have not been trained to see themselves as members of a close-knit, tightly independent family, religious group, tribe, nation, or other collectivity. You can see it in the way Americans treat their children. Even very young children are given opportunities to make their own choices and express their opinions. 
A parent will ask a one-year-old child what color balloon she wants, which candy bar she would prefer, or whether she wants to sit next to mommy or daddy. The child's preference will normally be accommodated. Americans are also distinctive in the degree to which they believe in the ideal as stated in the Declaration of Independence that all men are created equal. Also, they sometimes violate the idea in their daily lives, particularly in matter of interracial relationships. Americans have a deep faith that in some fundamental way all people, at least all American people, are all equal value, that no one is born superior to anyone else. One man, one vote, they say, conveying the idea that any person's opinion is as valid and worthy of attention as uh, any other person's opinion. The notions of equality lead Americans to be quite informal in their general behavior and in their relationships with the other people. Store clerks and waiters, for example, may introduce themselves by their first given names and treat customers in a casual, friendly manner. American clerks, like other Americans, have been trained to believe that they are as valuable as any other people, even if they happen to be engaged at a given time in an occupation that others might consider lowly. This informal behavior can outreach foreign visitors who hold high stations in countries where it is not assumed that all men are created equal. The future change and progress. Americans are generally less concerned about history and traditions that are people from older societies. History doesn't matter, many of them will say. It is the future that counts. They look ahead. They have the idea that what happens in the future is within their control or at least subject to their influence. They believe that the mature, sensible person sets goals for the future and works systematically towards them. Achievements, action, work and materialism. He is hard worker, one American might say in praise of another, or she gets the job done. These expressions convey the typical American's admiration for a person who approaches a task conscientiously or persistently, seeing it through to a successful conclusion. Cultural aspects of everyday life are often difficult for people of dominant cultures to discern because their practices, traditions, values and understandings are taken for granted as a norm. For them, there is no apparent need to examine cultural difference and thus no inclination to do so. In the USA, middle-class European Americans are typically so unaware of their own culture they believe that American culture is a melting pot of other cultures. As there are some specific dimensions of American culture. A dimension of culture is a recognizable point of comparison used to explain how different cultures prefer to approach and solve
solve a universal problem. There are more cultural dimensions that we can possibly address here and uh, so we will focus on a few that seem especially relevant to interactions. Dimensions of American culture. The first time and its control, relationship, comfort with change, personal control over destiny, self-sufficiency, status, language, individualism. Time and its control. For Americans, time is a critical factor that is battled on a daily basis, where in an adversarial relationship to time. We talk about saving or wash, uh, wasting time, managing time and beating the clock. Americans invented day timers and added the term multi-asking to the English language. We invented fast food and made it even faster by adding the drive through now even our pharmacies offer drive through pickup. Relationship Very close related to time control is the American tendency to focus on getting things accomplished so much so that building rapport with people gets overlooked. In more traditional cultures People focus on establishing rapport first and ensuring harmony in interactions with others. In healthcare settings, building trust between patient and doctor often depends on developing formal but warm interaction. In Spanish, the word personalismo speaks to the balance of professionalism and friendliness. Taking a moment to ask about the family, a handshake that lingers just a bit longer than a business handshake, simple gestures such as this go on a long way. Comfort with change. Americans are fundamentally optimistic and place faith in the future. As a young culture with few traditions tying us to ways of the past, our identity and inspiration are projected forward in time. Americans link change to progress, development and growth. We like things that are new and improved. All the traditional cultures consider change to be disruptive and unpredictable. In other words, negative. When a new medical procedure or miracle drug becomes available, Americans are likely to respond with optimism while patients from risk-adverse cultures will show pessimism. Doctors who demonstrate balance in this area will gain the most patient confidence. Personal control over destiny. Americans tend to believe that every individual has primary control over his or her destiny. The reason typically or a strong belief in the power of fate or karma. In many cultures there is a belief that things, including illnesses, happen for a reason and may be beyond our control. People may show a tendency to resign themselves to bad things in a way that Americans never would. It's God's will. This doesn't mean Patient families won't put faith in an American doctor's medicine, but there is 
we may be surprising belief system operating around what has caused illness or how much control they can exert on the outcome. Self-sufficiency Closely related to the American emphasis on individual control over destiny is the value of being self-sufficient. To succeed without depending on others shows supreme self-determination, self-reliance, and self-confidence. The concept of being self-sufficient, however, doesn't translate into all languages and the trait is not valued in many other cultures. Status In American culture, we value the idea of equality. The quotation all men are created equal is arguably the best known phrase in any America's political documents. Thomas Jefferson first used the phrase in the Declaration of Independence as a rebuttable to the growing political theory of the day, the diving right of kings. Language Americans are no-context communicators, so the words we speak are expected to deliver everything that is important during verbal interaction. We pay far less attention to factors such as body language and the context of what is being said. In high-context cultures, gestures, body language, eye contact, pitch intonation, word stress, and the use of silence are as important as the actual words being spoken in conversation. Individualism Cross-cultural research shows U.S. Americans score higher on this cultural value than any other culture in the world. All the values we've addressed up to this point are closely related to this one aspect of American culture. Individualism is the belief that each individual's interests should take precedence over those of the social group. Dimensions of American culture Learning about our own cultural patterns provides us with a baseline for comparing cultures that are different. As we develop self-awareness around cultural experience, we are able to observe without leaping to judgment. We realize there is a difference between what we actually observe and how we label our observations based on our own cultural programming. In the process of becoming more aware of interactions with culturally diverse patients, providers, how communication skills that benefit all patients, increased patient satisfaction and health outcomes lead to happier providers and more successful practices. Certainly within the medical culture that is seen in as a win-win situation of great value.